Welcome back to OCMopolis. In the last episode, we had started work on the downtown area of OCMopolis, and we had built a small industrial area to support the workers. In this episode, I'm going to be focusing on expanding the city, building more suburbs, and upgrading our transportation network. Here, I'm dragging a train line through downtown. Those houses don't matter. I'm planning on expanding the city southward, so I want to make sure that I have enough transportation for our future population. Very nice. We have a train track, but we don't have a train station. The best spot for it's probably going to be downtown, so I'm going to put it right here. And to make the train station a bit more effective, you want to put a parking garage nearby. Here I can't put it here because I placed the fire station there last episode, so the best I could do is across the street. I'll mention that my game is not vanilla. I'm using the network add-on mod, which adds more roads and just basically a lot more transportation options. I also have a couple of community bug fixes, including the 4GB RAM patch, which allows SimCity 4 to use more of your system's resources. So I've just laid out a lot more grid for our southern neighborhoods, and I'm going to extend this angled road all the way down to the border of the map. If you haven't played SimCity 4, you can connect roads to your neighboring cities. Also, you can connect power lines and underground water pipes, subway systems, rail lines, and you can trade resources between your cities. I love watching these little vehicles move around while they're building the roads. This game has a lot of little details that you only notice after playing it for a while. It's a good idea to check your traffic every now and then. There's a couple of ways you could do this. You could look at this map. But there's also a tool you could use. I think it's called the Query Tool or the Root Query. Click on any road and it'll show you the route that everybody who uses the road takes. It's incredibly useful. So this is a bit of uh, future planning here. I'm taking this rail line and I'm going to go ahead and bring it into the city. And this will allow people to go directly from the city to my industrial areas. And that will heavily reduce traffic on my roads. Just ignore the fact that I'm demolishing entire neighborhoods here. Um, I bought every one of those houses. There we go. And slowly, people will start to realize that there's a new way to get over there. Whoa! Seems we have a bit of a trash problem. Seems we got people throwing all of their trash into the middle of the road. I have a mod here that adds this garbage disposal chute. This thing is hilarious, I'll show you it. So, I'll go down to the bottom edge of the map here and place it. It just throws the garbage right off the edge. It's incredible. that's not the best way to get rid of garbage, I don't know what is. We don't know where it goes. We don't need to know where it goes. Well, with our grid down, it's time to put houses on it. 
This entire area is going to be filled in with low density residents. Seems I've run out of money again. So let's just let the simulation run and watch these houses get built. I forgot to give them water. So now that my citizens have their water, and I have some more money, I'm going to be putting in some more residential zones. Looks like we have a bit of an unemployment crisis. That'll be solved very soon. I figure now's a good time to build some bus stops. Very nice. I built this bus stop right next to the train station so that all the buses can bring people to the train station and then from there they take the train anywhere they want. I want to build an alternate road route to our industrial zones just because I anticipate traffic's just going to get so much worse over time. And I'm just trying to figure out here which kind of bridge to use because I don't want to use the same bridge as I did over there uh, near downtown. I want to I want to make everything unique. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, I'll just throw some more industry up here. Booyah! And then we'll connect up that industry with a, with a new train station. Our town is looking great. It has grown only a little bit, but still a substantial amount. I'd say we've roughly more than doubled our population. But I'll end it here. I will see you again on episode 3. I think in that episode we will work on some of our western suburbs and expand the core of the city. Goodbye.